Good morning, my lovely ones. Happy Friday and happy full moon in Scorpio as well. Happy lunar eclipse. Today we'll do a special reading for all of you. Of course, all the zodiacs. And this reading will be very, very strongly for all of you who are looking for a message, a special message. Even though it's a daily energy, I want all of you to understand that even this energy comes in today, that's not mean necessarily will happen today, could happen in the days that are coming, or in the week, or even in the month. So messages here for all of you regards this full moon in Scorpio as well the lunar eclipse. I have the monology deck as oracles and Barbara Moore easy tarot. Here we are. Let's get into and we'll go forward with starting with our beautiful Aries. Welcome loves. Let's see where you are and what are the messages for you in this full moon lunar eclipse. Three cards, five of wands, Six of Swords and the Wheel and a Tower Moment. You know, the Tower Moment is enough is enough. And yes, Scorpio speaking. As we have today this full moon, because for some of you today, you might not avoid or you might can't avoid some kind of argument with someone. But definitely I see some kind of argument might happen as we speak right now. Could be as we have this tower because tower moment speaks now or in the moment. Or from this full moon till the full moon in Sagittarius, which is June 3rd. There's a lot of movement in your life and there is a lot of sudden changes that are going to happen. However, Aries, this is divinely guided. Whatever here you need to move is necessary because when the tower comes, it's kind of either you hold on in certain things or you didn't want to do certain things. But also whatever here that tower comes for is to move you forward, more likely into your designated path or your true path. And yes, it's kind of like the contest is not really pleasant. But as you see here, the Six of Swords has this full moon. So definitely here, this full moon in Scorpio might be quite a full moon for some of you. Whatever is there, I feel here, be careful today, especially, you know, talking here with someone who you are not really feeling like talking or some people might include you in some kind of, you know, conversation or conference. Be careful. Doesn't mean here that you are not right. It's just because your beliefs or the things you, you think are correct, not affiliated with others know that. The advice from the oracles, we have hold your vision. For whatever reason, you definitely need to hold whatever it is. Because I feel here there's something here about, yes, sometimes people are think they are right. And I feel here for some of you, Aries, you are kind of like, I'm done always to give them or approve them for some reason. Or let them be the right one. Why I need to be the bad guy? You know, sometimes it is a reason for what, for whatever is there. Moving on to our celebratory zodiac, 
Taurus. Welcome, loves. Let's see what we have for you. What this full moon lunar eclipse brings to you. Well, we have a wheel. We have a sun. And ten of cups. Well, it's a happy day. For some of you, you might meet someone today that might really be the turning point of something beautiful. So the sun really speaks of today, during the day. It's kind of, it's a fated event. It's a fated person that comes into your life. Could be your twin flame, darlings. Well, what we can say, when it's happy, it's happy. No exceptions. Could be a Leo, a Sag, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But definitely here, there is a lovely, beautiful offer on the horizon. Well, couldn't be better than that. I feel also there are certain things here I'm moving will move pretty quickly. Very happy day. Very moving day for some of you. Well, for some of you, yeah, hold your tears. It's a great one. It's a great one. The advice here from the oracles. Yeah, blue moon, once in a blue moon. Feels like never before or never could happen, but believe in the impossible. Because itself said, I am possible. Everything is possible, loves. Don't even think it is not. Certain things here could come to you. Could be a person, could be a situation, could be any kind of energy. All right, loves. Moving on to beautiful Gemini's. Welcome, loves. Let's see. What are those messages from the full moon? Lunar eclipse for you. First card we have strength. The next one we have three of cups and hermit. Ace of pentacles. Many of you Gemini's, you are overcoming either a third party, either some kind of friendship with some kind of person. And I feel here you you kind of know that you you want something else. Deep down, you know you want something else. Could be a new beginning, could be some some more strong than whatever it is. If you are living here at third party and you're always looking for something solid, you are actually leaving whatever is behind moving to that. For some of you, yes, if you are leaving uh, some type of connection, you know, a friendship connection, and with the hermit, yes, you feel lonely, but it's kind of like, I'd rather be alone than around these people. And I feel here you will realize, actually, that there is much better energies coming in, much better people, like-minded people, people that are there, that frequency you are looking for. So don't hesitate, loves, to get whatever here needs to be get over. The advice we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Unbelievable. Yes. I feel here you kind of doing the right thing now or you now realizing what is right for you and what is not. So definitely here, if you have some kind of issues there with someone in particular, not for too long, not for too long. Certain things here are meant to end because you know, yeah, certain people or certain situation has an expiration date. We sometimes holding on on that expiration date for too long till we can see some mold. Yes, we are not eating blue cheese, loves. We are not eating blue cheese. And we are moving towards our Cancerians. Welcome, loves. Let's see, Cancer, what do we have for you for this full moon lunar eclipse? Five of Wands, Fool, and Ace of Cups. 
Look at you, King of Cups. Fully into your energy. Cancerian, it's like I'm speaking here with a single Cancer. Probably you are past 40s, even 50s, but you are still very young at heart. Your soul is a young soul. I definitely hear people around you wants to be, you know, surrounding you or want to be with you. But I feel here neither of these people are not someone you are might be interested in something genuinely or love-wise. It's kind of if I'm going to to be around someone, they they got a vibe what I vibe. So this really speaks about confidence, really speaks about who you truly are, who you truly become. Because King of Cups, yes, speaks about a fatherly figure, but also King of, King of Cups really speaks of masculinity. If I can be with myself, I can be with someone. But there are people who can't dependable people, those who have codependence. So you, for whatever reason, it's just kind of like whoever here comes is not what you're looking for or they are not quite at your level. It's not like you are very picky, but you are very mindful for what you're looking for. And other thing here is like you don't want to complicate your life with unnecessary drama so it's like whoever it's there I'm ready for them but gotta be kind of that level with that it's beautiful loves look at here your commitment is being tested and I feel here this is the commitment with yourself with your higher vibration so keep in mind that loves for some of you, you understand, especially on this full moon in Scorpio, that a lot of things changes and you're not going to blow yourself by any means for just anyone out there. Well, that's quite a great vibe. Moving on to our beautiful Leos. Welcome, loves. Let's see what we have for you. And of course, how is your day? How is this full moon treating you or bringing you those messages? Let's see. First card we have High Priestess, we have Star, and we have Nine of Pentacles. It's kind of what I'm hearing is like slowly you are getting there. Absolutely, Ace of Pentacles. If you definitely want something, do it, then reveal it. For example, if you want family, if you want a great job, if you have a skill and work on that skill, do it before reveal it. For example, meet that person, be serious, get in the relationship, kind of engage marry then tell others or something in those lines or I want a job get that application go to the interview get that job then tell others you want to study something do the study don't let others to know do you it's kind of like do you and then tell others because I definitely see here there's certain things here coming to you or you are about to achieve but it's kind of in silence as you see here them the high priestess and the star this um yes feminine energy very strong feminine energy about allowing the things to go through and you know you can have them and they can be beautiful but the thing is whatever you want it's only you gotta know or as as few as possible needs to know about it. Whatever that is, Leo, it's kind of do it, then let others to know it. The advice for you, 
work through your fears. You know, new moon in Scorpio here we have, but work through your fears is... You kind of like, you, you didn't know something here will work. But doing in silence, you you will get over there and then just kind of feel like, wow. So go ahead, loves. Work it out. Because you know you can have it. And you can have beautifully. And we are on Virgos. Welcome, loves. Let's see for you the messages in this full moon lunar eclipse what we have out there six of cups four of swords and seven of swords underneath we have ten of pentacles so i feel here Today, there's a lot of memories that um, many Virgos can experience. Some of them are good memories, some of them are not. For some of you, there might be um, a family issue out there that's still keeping and popping out. For some of you, it could be a person you want to be like family or felt like family that probably didn't do too much good. For some of you, yes, you might, you might see today someone or you might hear about someone. But it seems here, I, I don't know why the, the word family, either they've been like family, either they have a family, somebody here could have a family. For some of you, there is a money situation here. And somebody here could try to get away to not pay you or not giving you. It's like for some of you, it's just kind of like, I don't even know that I want those money back. But I feel here, those if somebody here needs to pay you, they will. So if somebody here, you are loan any money or, you know, give them and they they try to avoid you for some reason, they will come forward. So it seems here there is a Virgo here who kind of feel like I didn't know that, that that possible or that's coming. But do not forget, even though it's a full moon in Scorpio, sudden changes can happen. Certain things here might turn in a such a way that you didn't expect. And also do not forget about Mercury retrograde, which is your planet loves. The advice for you, we have what do you need to release? For some of you, yes, there is a person here that keeps popping in and you know who they are. You might need to release them. But for some of you, definitely here releasing certain things might give you certain great views of new beginnings. All right, Libras are next Let's see what this full moon lunar eclipse brings for you. And what else we need to see. Page of Swords. Eight of Swords. And Five of Swords. There's a lot of Swords. Libra, today it's more likely a day when you got to tell yourself everything will be okay. Or everything is pathing through. Everything has an expiration date. Because I definitely see here certain things you, you don't know how to deal with it or you don't know how to get away from it or how to move on from it for some of you you could be surrounded by certain people that are probably in your face telling you certain things on the back talk say other things and you might not seeing it for some of you definitely here you 
you need to be more careful who you trust or who you telling them things or revealing certain things because certain people here that you don't feel like you see or you you probably trust them but they are not quite great for you so that person who always is so laid back so so much you know cheering you up might not be that great so be very careful who you trust whom you saying things because certain people definitely here are just kind of like waiting for the moment when they are, you know, stabbing you or want to stab you. So don't be naive or, you know, it's not about naive. It's like I see a very, a very kind Libra. But definitely here you, you might need to learn the, um, the people's nature or the way people are. Because you might be good but not others. For others of you, there is certain people that done certain things from for you or to you. And you might ask yourself why they did that. Well, the question, it's there and the answer is the same. Because just some people are the way they are. And we don't need to understand them because you are not them. Okay? So don't be like them. The advice for you, we have adjustments are required. So Libra, certain things here needs to be sorted out with the adjustments that are required. You know, making a clean up through certain people, certain things out there. Because definitely feels like a necessity for many, many of you. And of course, now we have our beautiful Scorpios. Welcome, loves. Happy full moon. Let's see what your full moon and your lunar eclipse brings to you. All right, loves. Let's see. We have a judgment for some of you or for many, many of you. Today may have a wake-up call like a deja vu energy I'm feeling. And don't be afraid if you are dreaming certain things or certain people, or even you feel like, oh, I've seen that person, but that person feels like he's not here in this world. No, you actually have seen them, okay? It's scary for some of you, but not. 10 of pentacles, could be a family member, a family person. And it seems here that definitely it is a meeting here between you and someone. For some of you, it's from the other side. Could be a family member, could be a family person, a family friend. But it will feel like a celebration energy here. Two of Cups. Absolutely. It's like I see a a veil of love fulfilled with love so if somebody here gone on the other side cheer them up or it's a great time to cheer them up another thing here what I'm what I'm hearing for some of you today you might meet someone feels like by accident but nothing is by accident nothing is just like that 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 person could be the one for you in the future. For some of you in another past life, you've been family. It's a very, very beautiful energy. And also I see here some, some of you might celebrate that some money coming in in your, in your pockets, in your bank accounts, you know, family money or money to celebrate with family. So great energy loves, very, very, but I feel a very peaceful energy, a very relieved energy. And for some of you, if you are dreaming about someone and talking the dream, you are meant to dream that. You are meant to talk with that person. 
So, yeah. Let's see one advice. Yeah, look at this. Bring love into the situation. Tell them you love them. Definitely here, whatever it is, I feel I definitely see you in that peaceful energy. So that's speaking about love energy. Yeah, new moon in Aquarius, but definitely think out the box. Don't be scared, whatever comes. Because some people here get scared. Oh my gosh, I seen that. Oh, that's not real. Doesn't feel like, but it is. So don't be scared if you're seeing someone, even in your dream, if not in your dream. Because sometimes, you know, we call that the daydreaming, but it's not the daydream. It's real loves. And we have my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome, loves. Let's see how this full moon in Scorpio, a lunar eclipse, and what is bringing to you at this time. What do we have here for my Sagittarius? Three of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Hangman, Six of Cups. All right, loves. For some of you today, you will um, review whatever works for you and whatever does not work for you. You could review your last six months or your last two years or even three years. Because certain things here definitely requires changes. And this changes needs to happen within six months from now. Okay? For some of you, my feel here in the, the past three years changed a lot. Because definitely here you you will see a lot of things much different as we speak today than ever or you used to. For some of you, Sagittarius, if you feel that nothing moves to you, whatever you do, there is some kind of message that's coming through today that will make you think or you will make you to, to see that whatever you put in effort or whatever you build was necessary for whatever it's coming. All right, loves. Because indeed here, I feel here that it's a, it's a big reflection. But whoever is going to message you, in the beginning might not feel very, you know, it's kind of a hippity hop energy it's like i don't know what this person or these people are thinking but later on you will see very much different there's something here you gotta see from a different angle different position different way whatever works for you or something here regards your work the advice for sages as I'm saying, your hard work is paid off. Wow. Whew. So definitely here, something here is preparing you for something much, much bigger. Because whatever here you put it and you feel is not working actually works. But probably a little different. Or you gotta see different. Your heart is paying off. Your hard work is paying off. And I feel here for some of you, you might have a big change within six months. Could be six. I, I'm hearing six day. Could be six weeks from now. Okay. But definitely here, it's something work-wise or whatever you do. That's if I'm repeating work, work, work. That's something here regards. Could be your self-work or work on yourself or your main job, your main business, whatever that speaks to you loves, will be paid off. 
On the way to our Capricorns, welcome loves. Let's see what this full moon lunar eclipse brings to my Capricorns. Two of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. So look at here, loves. Where you want to invest your energy. Because there's something here that you are feeling at the crossroads. But today is the day when you probably will realize where you want to put your energy more and where you don't. I feel here with the emperor here. It's like don't be stubborn to hold on on certain things. Probably might not be as great as you might seem. But I feel here, whatever you are going, it's to prosper. There's some kind of a business. There's some, some kind of gig. There's some kind of entrepreneur here. So there's something here about starting or doing something. Could be new energy. Don't hesitate to do it, loves. If you want to start something totally different... This moon actually will enhance that because that's the Scorpio full moon. Enhancing sudden changes, bringing sudden changes. And for some of you, if you have been here back and forth, back and forth, today might be the day when you choose. The advice for you, loves, have faith in your dreams. Because I feel here for some of you, definitely here certain things probably are not working pretty well now but once you do the change or once you choose because there's something new here and it seems here it's great energy have faith that might be amazing or is amazing it's more likely business career money wise so whatever it's there putting your money somewhere where they work they are um, multiply they are to fulfill you so don't be uh, it's kind of don't be narrow into your mindset open up for other possibilities whatever those are and aquarius will come let's love what do we have for you what this full moon in a scorpio lunar eclipse brings to you knight of cups the devil and king of pentacles it's kind of you you ask something to have and that is coming but you need to get away from something or someone to have this new energy it's kind of like detach from one energy to get the energy you ask for you know when you ask certain things you might get them but now is the time it's like something here you ask so think of whatever you've been asking but I feel also whatever here it's given to you might require a lot of responsibility on your side. All right, loves. But I feel here it's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. It's good and stable. Whatever here it's offered. Could be offered right now. Could be offered here by the midsummer. That's what I'm hearing. So if you are willing to take responsibility or if you are willing to deal with it or feel like I can do it, that's for you. The advice from the oracles. We have full moon in Gemini, but the answer you need are coming. As I'm saying, you ask for something Whatever that is, it's coming to you. Either 
you had questions regarding certain energy, either you ask the universe something, it is coming. It's kind of like it's coming a time to deal with certain things. Why not? You know, when we ask, we, we assume that we can deal with that. Because always, always be aware of what you wish for. You might get it. That's the thing. That's the drill. And of course, my beautiful Pisceans. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Pisceans? That is coming in this full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Well, four of wands, hermit, and six of pentacles. And ace of pentacles here. Definitely there's some kind of energy it's coming, but it's kind of can you handle whatever it's coming? Because something here feels like, you know. I didn't have for such a long time to be happy about certain things and now whatever it's coming it's I'm feeling am I am I need this but it's not the, the right word it's like can I have this am I allowed to this it's like you you are to the point that you you are not feeling that you deserve this that's the right word deserve you do deserve always if something or someone or whatever here is given to you you deserve it it's like you you feel it's like it's not really in the fair ship energy because six of pentacles is like feeling that I'm feeling I'm, I'm messing up or I will mess up this. You know, you are not going to mess up this. Because it's something that you very much deserve it. Very, very much. Also, if you are gaining something and it's your right to gain that thing, don't feel it's not fair for someone in particular. That is yours. And I'll, I'll give you an example. If you are by court order are giving a, a home, let's say, which is an inheritance. And someone here doesn't get the home but gets the car or gets some, you know, furniture but not the home. The home is yours. It's because you deserve that home. Because you are deserve that inheritance. And because whoever left that home put you to have the home. Probably not the furniture, but probably not the car, probably not some type of clothes or certain, you know, objects in the home. But you deserve whatever it is. Don't feel it's not fair. Even though you are not... Um, first degree or like you're not the um, the daughter or the son of that person but you were the person who always was by the side of that person i hope you understand here pisces what i'm what i'm saying it's like you you feel it's quite overwhelming for you whatever is here but you know, sometimes we deserve certain things and we got to accept that. If the universe is giving us whatever is giving, you definitely got to enjoy it. You know, you're free to do whatever you want with it. And the advice for you, loves, expect powerful change. As I'm telling you, there's something here will will feel quite overwhelming. We have the new moon eclipse. We are on a full moon. So expect certain changes that you probably don't even, even thought that's possible ever. Well, believe in the impossible. 
once in a blue moon, we deserve the best. And not only once in a blue moon. And actually, I believe we have this year a blue moon at the, um, at the end of the summer, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I gotta check it again. But pretty much that. And of course, collective, I welcome you. We have a Queen of Swords. We have a Fool. And we have a Three of Wands. Six of Wands underneath. Look at this, loves. What I'm hearing for you to kind of like simplify your life or for you to not do, not have those headaches you gotta speak up your mind or you gotta speak up your truth will make you easier the day-to-day -day life and to get closer to your expectations or even to win people in your life i know Many people say, well, you don't need to tell this and that, and you got to think what you say. You know, if you come here on this channel, you know, I never sugarcoat the readings. Even though sometimes certain messages are, um, let's say, pretty spicy or pretty feel negative or they feel like quite inappropriate to say, I will say it anyway. That brings authenticity that brings who i am that brings the person i will be always and i feel here the collective some of you or many many of you are pretty much the same i rather have the straightforward than you know people talk on the back or talk on the back say it straight to the point kind of get to the point i will understand you quicker faster and will not go circle 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 till we get to the point that will save us time energy and much many other things so that's very very strong energy here because i feel here there is a person here just being themselves don't think too much Three of Wands, Six of Wands will, will be going so far away in their life, so fast in their life. And definitely people will cheer you up for who you are. Just because you've been, you know, blunt or straightforward. So be you loves, no matter what. The advice for you, look at the bigger picture. We have full moon in Sagittarius. For some of you, you are Sag, as I am, but I have here Aries, Gemini, and I have definitely Sag and Leo. Eight of Wands speaks about the Sagittarius zodiac, and Six of Wands speaks about the Leo energy. But look at the bigger picture. Probably some of them, some people will not be there, is because they don't appreciate their own truth or they don't know their own truth. And some people definitely will cheer you up that you are authentic, that you are genuine, and you are not some type of person who is with the crowd. So loves, that being said, blessings. Try to put your manifestations there and definitely make them big and make them as like you have it already. And of course, I'll see ya next time. Happy weekend. Probably by the midday, I will um, upload one of our special readings which i have been really in a way doing it because every single zodiac sign got such messages that i i really cherished honestly and 
yeah, probably by the end of the weekend or by the next week, we'll bring the next week of readings, the second week in May. And yeah, we're realizing time fly by fast. Blessings, loves. Have a great full moon lunar eclipse. Take it easy if you feel a little overwhelmed. Honor yourself and I'll see you next time. Namaste.